What's going to happen here is going to start from the cone. The target's going to come. It's one of them. 28 grand number seven. to the range. Okay guys, welcome back to another episode. Again, we're joined by my good friend from Kuwait, Suleiman here. And today we're gonna to have a look at mount and mounting. I get so many questions saying, Ben, look, I watch your videos and you seem to connect to the target better than I do. When, I, when I'm calling Paul, I can't connect. I feel like I'm out in front or it beats me. And nine times out of ten, the problem comes down to the mount. And the three basic mounts that we have is a pre-mount. So the gun is completely empty. Pre-mount is where we're locked in, pull, and we make that move from that pre-mount position. I'm going to use that mount when I'm short of time between um, viewpoint and hold point. These are both different types of method from a gun down position. A lot of sporting shooters shoot gun down. If you are shooting fit ask, we have to keep the gun below that line until the target is visible. And this is when these two mounts come into play. So I've been coaching Solomon now for, since about, was it May or March I came to Q8? May. May, so we've been working together since May. Before that, Solomon had learned to shoot maintain lead with a slide method, okay? What do I mean by a slide method? Again, the gun is empty. This is my whole point. My eyes are back at my viewpoint. I see the bird coming and I mount and move at the same time and try and come up in front of the target. We're gonna talk about the pros and cons of that shortly. The bayonet mount is my preferred mount, which I'm trying to ease, ease into Solomon shooting at the moment, is where you call Paul at the hold point we launch like a bayonet with our left hand to engage the clay at the whole point and then rotate. So one of them is rotating as we mount. One of them is a bayonet type mount before we move. Okay. Right guys, what are the pros and cons? With the bayonet style mount and the reason I adapt that into my shooting is I'm going forward to meet the target and then the target speed is going to control my gun speed, okay? I'm gonna match my gun speed to the target speed. And this is what I'm trying to bring in to Solomon's shooting. The slide mount that Solomon uses, it causes efficiency of movement. We look a little bit smoother, but our hand speeds might not necessarily be matched to the bird speed. So once I get up in front, I've now then gotta try and reattach. And this is all time and energy that I don't want to waste. And we've just returned from a large shoot abroad and quite a number of times I had to call you up on your hand speed. Yeah. What do you find the difference between the two mounts? Uh, so with the bayonet mount, I feel like I'm more consistent with that hand speed. It okay. Makes, it makes me more controlled compared to the slide mount. So, uh, with the slide mount, you've, you've, you've talked about yourself, you feel smooth. Y yeah. But we don't get any points for how we look or how we feel. So, but you are struggling to adapt 100% of the time. You sort of got caught out with the bayonet mount when the targets got fast. You sort of slipped backwards in into your method. So during today's lesson, we're gonna take Solomon out to the range and we're gonna show you both mounts on fast targets and try and pick up the pros and cons, okay? Ready? Yeah. Let's do it. I got like 10, fine. As long as you don't miss 11. <laughs> Not <laughs> happening. Okay, so Solomon, I'm going to show you a target here, but I'm going to set some props up first to help the viewers understand what I'm trying to show. So we're going to shoot this fast A target here. Semi-crossing, semi-quartering, you know, quite a technical target to understand that mount on. So I'm going to show you two targets, and you're first off going to tell me your hold point, okay? On your call. Well... Okay, I'm going to show you one more. Four. So where would your hold point be? 
I want a specific, specific detail. Uh, I want to say uh, this yellow post. Okay, the yellow post. Yeah. Okay. Happy with that? Yeah. Okay. So that cone is now going to be your, not only your hold point, but also his mount point. You're going to start with your slide mount. Okay. So what's going to happen here is going to start on the cone. The target's going to come. He's going to call what I call walk his hands. So his hands are going to walk away from the machine. He's going to be way out in front of that target. I'm going to try and have a look at what that looks like. Okay. So first off is the slide mount when you're ready. Okay. So go to your cone, please. Eyes back to your viewpoint. And when you're ready. Okay. That was a bayonet mount. Okay. Now show that slide mount. I want those hands to walk away from the machine. Good. That's exactly what was happening to us in Dornsburg. Yeah. Okay. It's very educational, you know, and misses are what this sport is about. That's how we're going to learn. You looked good, you moved smoothly, but because you slid across the mount, you couldn't get back to the target. So I want to see that in slow mo, okay? So we're going to film that one more time. Slide them out. I don't care if you do or not. Slide. Good. Okay. What's happening there? Because he's sliding his mount, which looks very, very good. You know, aesthetically, it's perfect. But what happened is because he slides the mount at his natural body speed, the target speed becomes non-relevant. Do you feel that disconnect? Oh, yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna look at now is a bayonet mount. So what should happen here? Suleiman should line up over that orange cone. When the gun hits his face and pocket, we should still be at the cone. Then the clay speed will dictate our speed out to our perceived lead, okay? So this time we're going to go with a bayonet mount. Left hand leads. Beautiful shot and a perfect kill. What is quite interesting is that the kill points are still the same. One's not taking... What people misconceive is that the, if I bayonet mount, my kill point's going to be later. But how did you feel that? That, that wasn't the case? No, that wasn't the case. It was exactly the same kill point. Let's try that one more time before we see that over your shoulder. So a left hand's going to lead you to your hold point and mount point before the clay's target dictates our speed. Ah, oh, beautiful move. Excellent. Thank you. Let's have a look at that over the shoulder. So that was quite interesting to watch, and especially looking over your shoulder to see where you mount in relationship to that cone. So it, now you've shot both of them. How did that, how did that slide feel? I always end up in the front of the target. Most of the time I end up in, the, in that front side yeah, yeah, yeah. and we, do, we don't get that. Way too fast to just get back to. And the, the bayonet mount? Uh, more controlled, I think. Yeah. But with, we, with the bayonet mount, we have to bring more of our own speed because yeah. we don't get a head start. And I think it's understanding that how we feel and the comfort zone doesn't get us a kill. This one feels better. Yeah. It looks better. But my chances of missing goes up. This one's a little bit more rushed, but it's going to get me more targets. targets. And I think when they look, a lot of viewers, when they look at the top shots, they look at how smooth they are and try and replicate the smoothness and not the movement that we're making. Yeah. And I think you've done that. We've spoke about what you've oh, seen yeah. on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. And you think that's a good idea. I'll try that. Mm -hmm. And if we can sort of understand that we all move differently, biometric, plyometrics, we all move differently, but try and exercise the correct movement and not how it feels. Would you agree? Yeah, 100%. Anything that you would like to add for the viewers? Uh, mm. No, I think we covered it all in the yeah, yeah, there. So sure. guys, make sure you go out there, find a shooting ground that you, that's local to you. If you can, just put a, uh, a marker post out there and try and relationship the two, the marker between your mount. And are you marking to that cone or are you sliding your hands and getting out in front of it? Because some of you might not be shooting the method that you think you are. Hope you enjoyed that. Back next month.